All right, today we're going to be talking about a modified cocker spaniel cut, also known as a pet cut. Uh, this is Charlie. He's probably about seven years old. And I'm starting right now with his prep work. I've already brushed him out a little bit. Um, but I'm taking my seven blade and I'm bringing it down his back all the way down to his tail. Um, what I want to do before the bath is get the bulk of his coat out so I don't end up with lines in his coat afterwards since his coat is really thick. Uh, most Cocker Spaniels, um, if you don't get the coat out before the bath, it will cause lines afterwards. Um, he's getting um, what I like to call like the pet version of a cocker spaniel cut or like a modified cocker spaniel cut um, where he keeps a little bit of a skirt and he keeps fuller legs but it's not like a real cocker spaniel cut you'll see what a real cocker spaniel cut looks like in a second but they're very very full very long coated a lot of work and this is just easier on him since he's older and it's easier on his family um, so they don't have to do so much work on his coat during the day um, yeah so I take the seven coat I bring it down to the farthest part like the, the widest point in his chest and I skim it off the top of the muscle and then I bring it down his neck Oh, itchy dog. And you can see right here why they choose not to go with a full coat for this dog specifically. Because it's a lot of work. So I'm shaving off his ears right now. Well, not shaving off his ears. I'm taking the seven blade on top of his ears because they like his ears shorter. Because like most Cocker Spaniels, he gets a lot of ear infections. So I like to shave the inside of the ears with a 10 like the underside and then anywhere around the ears as well I like to take real short even after I've plucked them just to make sure they stay as clean as they can and they don't get full of hair or gunk really all right I'm taking down the back of his head they like to keep a little cocker dome on him so I try my best to keep some I don't really touch that after the bath until after the bath um, so now I'm taking my 10 for his face, I'm stretching the skin on his cheek so I can get right around his neck. Like most soccer spaniels, he puts all his weight down in my hand while I'm holding him or while he's up on the noose. So he just like, the second you let go of his face, it drops down. Um, shave his cheeks, shave around his ears, underneath his eyes with the 10, because it keeps the face a little cleaner as you can see or as you could see in the beginning, his face was very, very, very fluffy. So this is just an easier, this just keeps his, the coat, or the haircut lasting longer between trims. Take underneath his chin. I'm gonna switch back to that seven blade. Finish up getting this stuff off his chest. shorter and that's about it for prep work um, besides nail trimming ear cleaning um, and like the sanitary trims and the pad shaving that's about it for prep work all right now he's all bathed I didn't show that because I didn't do it um, but now I'm gonna start with brushing the mats that he has out and then fluffing his coat up so you see I brush the coat coat down first to get all of the mats out and then I fluff it up because that's how um, I want it to sit while I'm working on it. I want it to sit up so I can see all of the stray hairs. So I'm getting all the mats out of his back leg right now and then I'm fluffing it up, fluffing it up, fluffing it up. I'm going to take my comb so you can see there are no tangles in this dog's coat. No tangles, no tangles. Oh, tangle, gotta get that out real quick. Underneath his leg. There we go, no tangles. And we wanna fluff up the area that we hit with the uh, clippers before the bath as well. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Because, um, same thing, we're gonna be going over them with the clippers again and I wanna make sure that it all comes out the same length. So I fluff it up so when I should shave it down, they all sit in the same direction. <laughs> fluff up his front leg, 
up his back hit up his ears and his face a little bit with a softer brush later so this brush is he's got such thick fur his coat is so so thick this just keeps him so cool in the summer this haircut because so they shave his sanitary trim pretty short underneath too so he can lay down on the cool floor and kind of pant it out if he gets too hot all right we're gonna move on to legs all right so uh who's the um stupid head decided this is a good idea for filming me i suck at it anyways so we're fluffing everything up with our comb and our brush and then we're snipping it down with our scissors okay i left and came back i had something to do um but you can see i'm getting a nice straight edge right there by going around with my scissors, I've cut off the bulk of the hair, kind of created a square around the leg, and then I cut off the corners, and then I cut off the corners again, and then I cut off the corners again, and then I fluff it up, and I find the corners that I miss, and I cut off those corners, and then I cut off those corners, and then I keep going around until I have a nice circle on the leg. And then with Cocker Spaniels, you want to make sure that their um, feet are beveled. The, um, their bottoms of their feet should go round underneath and you'll see what I mean when I'm all done but the bottoms of their feet should look like the bottom of a bell when you're looking at it from the side nice and round and kind of curve under themselves straight hairs off now because I've left it up. The oils in your hands um, will make the dog's coat heavy so you need to get into the habit of um, not touching the fur as you are working with it too much. So you want to pick up your comb, use the comb to get the hair the way you want it to sit, not your fingers. Let's get that comb out, brush it up, I was using my curves for a minute to get the bottoms of his feet nice and beveled and now I'm back with my straights to kind of give it a nice finish up over here. Clean around the edges a little bit. Now these scissors, the handles are set back a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but it's not a, um, they're not completely straight all the way across. Um, the handle doesn't sit straight with the um, blades of the scissors, which I like. It kind of is, there, it's an older version of like the swivel thumb. It's supposed to keep your hand a little safer. I like them. I like using bigger scissors as well because it can get a lot of the hair out quickly. You don't want to strain your hands by doing more snips than you need to. Well, that's basically a, uh, a, what I do on all four of his legs. So you do that, you finish, and then you move on to the next one. All right, so I finished his legs. Now I'm taking a 10 blade. I'm going on the inside of his ears with the 10 blade. To get all, keep it nice and light on the inside. Whoa! Sorry, don't mean to get everybody dizzy. I thought this would be a better angle. You can see how much he's leaning into that. His ears are so itchy, poor baby. He's got in ear infections. And that's just what happens to Cocker Spaniels. They're prone to it. All right, now you can't see it, but I'm taking my 10 blade and I'm following the direction that his fur is growing in um, around his cheeks, his lips, which I'm stretching the skin back to make sure I do not, yep, there we go, stretch the skin back so you don't nick anything. He's got a little bit of a growth right there, so it's just kind of like, I gotta take it a little shorter and be kind of careful. Cause it's, it's yucky. Here I am examining his growth. Here he is being embarrassed by the fact that I was examining his growth. Sorry, buddy. All right, back on track. Okay, in the direction of his fur. Get your arm out of the way, Steven. There we go. In the direction of his fur underneath his eye, underneath his chin, down his neck just a little bit. You can see the line I left for his cocker crown up there. Now I'm 
pulling all of it forward with my comb. Oh, look at all this weight he's putting on his head. See, he has all that space and he chooses to put it all down in his head. That's what I'm shaking my head about right now. He's a goofy boy. Um, so I'm taking my scissors and I am just edging his ears. I'm trimming it right to the leather. Everything that's stuck out. I do. You do not want to take your clippers and use this. Use your clippers for this because you'll um, get his ear leather stuck between the clipper blades and rip his ear off. So just use your scissors. Um, I have a nice tiny small pair of scissors that I use when I'm feeling um, nervous about trimming it. Take the seven blade down again. His ears. He's doing all this weight himself. Just so you know, he's got all this space to do all this setup for. All right. Now you can't see it, but I'm taking my thinners, combing everything forward, and then I clean up his in front of his eyes. I kind of get that eyebrow out of the way, and then I blend it into the back of his head. You want the front? You want him to give him um, kind of like tin tin hair. This is what I use for Charlie. It's like a shorter on the back of the head, and then longer in the front. So now I'm going in with my shorter straights to get all this little stuff around his eyes, around the edge of his cocker dome. I'll get a better video of it next time, you guys. There we go. Oop, distracted. Distracted! Hi, Charlie. Sorry, I'm back. Okay. Trim, 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 trim. Get all this hair around his ear, anything that sticks up around the side. Dog's gonna step my camera, but you can see the straight edge of his leg because I've been because of the like fluff up, trim down, fluff up, trim down that I use on it. You can see the nice round edge that I got there, at least. And we're just about done. We can call Charlie's mom for her to come pick him up because Steven's got like two snips left, and I think that's it. A couple Charlie, snips in the other direction, and yeah, that's it. There's Charlie. You can see the top of his head is a little fluffier. He's got nice round legs. His skirt blends into his back very nicely, and he looks.